What are things women think men care about that you guys actually don't? Wearing the same dress twice. Honestly, I dated a girl for a bit and she had a dress and it looked awesome. She probably could have worn it every day and it wouldn't have bothered me a bit. Keep buying her the same dress forever. Sooner or later she will have a full wardrobe of just that dress. I have a single favorite black dress that can fit any occasion except super fancy. I've honestly thought about buying 5 to 10 more of the same one. Do it. I have a dress that fits great and can be dressed up slash down to fit any occasion and I have it in about 10 different colors. Those new eyebrows. Don't know what they're called. Why browse edit? Thanks for the kind awards, but I can't take credit for this. I've just heard it around, and I see there's even a sub for it. R slash Y brows. Those all look pretty outdated tbh. The new eyebrows are called soap brows. Idky. And even those are fading away. If you're actually curious, it's because you can use glycerine based soap with a damp eyebrow spoolie brush to make your eyebrows look fuller and a little fluffy. The soap makes them hold all day and it's a cheaper alternative to brow gel. Edit. It sounds a little silly, but it's very quick and easy, and isn't really a big deal if you already spend a little time on your appearance. People who don't wear much or any makeup at all do it too. Seeing you without makeup. When my girlfriend came round my house without her makeup on for the first time I was so happy. Like unbelievably happy. To me it meant that she was comfortable around me, and that really meant the world to me. So you're saying you care about it a lot. Jesus Christ can you guys stop not getting the joke. This feels like a trap. Admiral Akbar intensifies. Whatever the newest beauty trend that women are supposedly supposed to look up to, I've never once thought. Damn. She's cute but her thighs are touching. Guess I'm not attracted to her anymore. Thick thighs save lives. And thigh highs are my demise. Poodle deuce and saddle shoes don't mean a thing to me. It's your thigh high nylons that bring me to my knees. And this is it. I don't care what you think, as long as you're part of the thighs team. Do you see what I mean? Honestly, I think men care way more about personality than women think. Sure there are shallow men that want a woman to look as close to a porn star as possible. But most men I know aren't picky about the things women are told to be picky about and care more about having a companion and relationship with a non-shallow person. Also it's not just caring about personality siloed off from the body. Personality makes a body more or less attractive. If you like a person, your affection contextualizes the body and its parts as something or something's attractive. This is true to the point that a bad experience slash trauma with an abusive ex or family member can actually create an aversion to physical traits shared with a person out in the world and preclude them from being a prospective partner through no fault of their own. Or even if the trait is conventionally attractive to others slash most. Aesthetics are wild and contextual and, I'd argue, personality based. Edit. Typo. This is fact. Small boobs. Plenty of people have preferences for big boobs, but I do think too many women think that all men hate small boobs, which just isn't true. I prefer them personally. The thing is, even if I don't like something about particular woman I can easily get used to it, or learn to actually like it, if she has something going on that I like. It works either within romantic relations and platonic too. Exactly. I typically don't like girls with fake nails. But the girl I'm dating now has them, likes them, and they look good on her. So if it makes her happy, I'm happy. Plus it makes back scratches better. Only downside is it makes getting a finger in the butt worse. Time to get our next set of acrylics done lesbian style. P. Do tell. She gets her pointer and middle finger short and the rest long plus to be fair it helps you pick up things easier. I mean obviously for every man it's subjective. But something that doesn't matter to me in my relationship is whether my girlfriend wears makeup or not. I think she's beautiful either way. I once told my wife that she doesn't need to wear makeup. She said, I don't need you either, but I love you. And then I kinda got it. What women perceive as their physical flaws. When we look at women's bodies, we're looking at things we like. No man talks to another man and criticizes a woman's cellulite or a scar or belly fat. While I think of it, someone once apologized to me about the color of her nipples. 
999,999% of my brain was thinking yay, nipples, and the part that wasn't, wasn't thinking about the color of them, but last week's football results. I'm seeing someone in their 30s with two kids who thinks her boobs are gross because they aren't as perky as when we were teenagers and just friends who were both too stupid to make a move. I've seen them in both stages of life. And they are still perfect. Shrugs boobs is boobs. Damn right. My favorite pair of boobs is the last boobs I've been allowed to touch. That's always my answer. I did not know what a hip bump dip was until I read a thread full of insecure women about it. It's not unattractive in the slightest. Hell if they have an athletic or muscular body type it is flattering. If anything as it accentuates their quads. Which brings me to another thing. Immo a woman cannot gain too much muscle unless they use steroids. Fitness is hot regardless of gender. EWW. She has hip dips. No man. Ever. In the history of this world. What? In the ever living fuck. Did I just read? Tell me there aren't women out there worried about hip dips. So worried about them that they have a name. Wow. All of a sudden I'm worried about their mental well-being. A lot of ideas about beauty and fashion are blamed on men. But women really dress up for other women. Never heard more true words. More true truer words ne'er were spoken. If ever words were spoken. Truer they were not. If truth ever took the form of words. This would be it. Stretch marks. Scars etc. An ex of mine had stretch marks around her bum. Just because it was big. Her bum was part of the reason I kept finding justifications for red flags in our relationship. I was just way too attracted to her at that time. Dated a girl in my young 20s that had them on her butt and boobs. She was a college cheerleader and in great shape but was horrified by them and didn't even like me touching them during sex. It finally clicked when I explained I've seen her naked 100 times and I still wanna ref every time I do. I'm certainly not gonna be any less horny while effing by touching stretch marks. Personally stretch marks make me more horny, man. You're super fancy and expensive up though. Dang girl. I like you in a ponytail and baseball cap. I agree with you in theory. But I've learned to never criticize someone for putting an effort into their appearance. If they are excited, be excited for them. You we don't always do it because it looks pretty, but maybe more as a sign that I'd put effort in how I look for someone. Whatever it is that I so wouldn't believe Ashley said at the salon today about her boyfriend Todd. This is an economic bad, something I would pay money to have less of. Always wearing my cute boob size waist size appearance flaws such as scars or stretch marks. What we do care about, your overall attitude. Don't be manipulative. Don't test us. Don't beat around the bush when communicating. Have actually discussions about issues or really anything you want to talk about. This is a great thoughtful answer. Nails and eyelash extensions. I do care. I prefer girls that don't use them. Yeah. The males in particular always look pretty tacky to me. That. And it instantly reminds me of this. HTTPS. Media 2. Jiffy. Com slash media slash 3xz2bw12 fen9iig06 v6 slash jiffy. Jiff. CID equals 790b76118 f25 bef82500917 and 95 f32 df00 b2348 c620 f9826 and rid equals giphy. Gif and ct equals g. P lips I don't care if it's a model porno slit or arbis I'm going to eat it. It's true though, as long as arbis don't smell like red lobster after the power's gone off. I'm in there. Could you please not ever say that again? So polite ha ha ha. Your belly does not need to be flat as a board. It's really okay. You see this on the beach a lot. Most women with a few extra pounds wear a one piece suit because they are too self conscious about their belly and extra curves. No girl. Go ahead and rock that bikini. I'm on the opposite side. I wear one pieces or regular clothes to the beach because I don't have any curves or lady lumps to put into a bikini. Two pieces always look better on a curvy lady. Then again I'm too chicken to get more than thigh deep in the water anyway. IDK what's in that water waiting to eat me lol. 
I think you're likely safer in the water than on the beach. Humans are usually more dangerous to humans than what's in the ocean. To be fair, the ocean has the ocean in it, and that shit's dangerous as all hell. The problem is, that some guys will care. There will always be someone that cares about something stupid. For most guys though we don't seem to care about much, if we find you attractive then you're attractive. Small things don't generally change that, but one mean comment can ruin your whole day. And in this case there's a lot of mean comments daily, it's taken me a long time to make peace with it. But the opinion of these people means nothing. The opinions of potential partners that ditch you for shallow s means nothing. It was hard getting past the thought of oh, if only I didn't mess up, or if I weighed less, or my D was bigger, we could have been so happy together, when in reality, they were going to make my life miserable for some other dumb petty s, and I got lucky they outed themselves early. I'm just gonna say broadly, if he's already into you then you don't have to worry about your looks so much. I'll be with girls and I think they're gorgeous, but they keep bringing attention to their flaws and trying to get you to either agree with them or sort of console them. Meanwhile you're just thinking, if I didn't like them freckles I wouldn't be here in the first place lol. Op, do a new post asking what are some things that guys do care about that women aren't aware of. That would be an even more enlightening post. We got some stuff to clear up w y'all, and you can take the info back to female headquarters for us. I went and looked up the r slash ask women version of this, and there's a huge difference. Here it's bunch of dudes reassuring women over their insecurities, while over the other thread the ladies are just roasting us. Edit, wow. Thanks for the rewards. Kind strangers, stretch marks. Cellulite in that one area, that won't go away. Whether you wear macube or not. Sometimes the drama of your friends or work. But then again. Other times we may be interested depending. For example. If it's the essentially same story over and over. Then we get tired of it and don't care. I. E. Your friend Jill needs to just dump Mark. Because he's obviously in a to her. But won't break up with him. We've both told her to just break up. And you keep telling me about their drama. I'm going to just stop caring and not want to hear it, side subject, something women think guys do, but don't, yet in my experience, women do all the time, talk about your body or details about our sexual experiences with our friends, we actually respect you, and don't do that, and frankly, it upsets me, when I find out my partners tell her friends details, I dated a girl once who told female mutual friends, albeit positive things about me in the bedroom, and one of our friends flirtingly commented to me about it specifically, and I was like WTF. Confronted my then GF about it, and she's like, oh, don't tell me, men don't do the same thing. And the look of shock on her face, when I told her, no, we don't, outside of general comments of yeah, hey, I got laid last night and you go dog. That's about the extent of what we say, was priceless. Some think we expect girls to look like airbrushed and starving 18 years old models we don't. So many moms especially are so self-conscious after having a kid. Most of us aren't exactly pin up material once you can actually relax your mind. Free yourself from unrealistic body expectations. You can really enjoy yourself. But if you are all up in your head when we are trying to get down and busy, well we still get there and you are left wanting more I love. When you finally get your girl comfortable confident and relaxed cause that's when the fun really happens. The statistics around infidelity in men at the age where their wives would have had children do validate this fear. Though, I don't disagree with you on the whole, but I would be of the opinion that there are enough men who lose attraction to their partner after having a kid that you can't blame women for worrying about it, and it's a situation one does not know they will end up in, until they find themselves in it. Big noses. I think they can be sexy as hell on a woman. I think DC slash Arab slash Italian girls have really hot noses. I don't know if it's hugeness per se, but just a prominent and well-defined feature is attractive. Fake eyelashes. Feather dusters are not attractive and extra long slash fake nails. They are creepy and unhygienic. Thigh gaps, dip dips and other things like that. We probably won't notice unless you point it out. And when they do, we don't care. 
extremely long nails. Honestly women wear that s to impress other women. I have never seen a man who was more than neutral to it. A bunch of men actually dislike them. Edit. Gotta love how women are being super defensive about a man answering a question on a subreddit about asking men. My husband is always encouraging me to get nail extensions cause he likes getting tickles with them. Being scratched does feel really good though. I mean honestly most of whatever you're self conscious about we don't care much about. Outside of just looking good. Hygiene. Being healthy and a nice person. In terms of the more cosmetic stuff. Like your fashion sense. Macoop. Hairstyle you really don't have to try that hard. 80% of men in a relationship are just happy they found someone. So long as you don't let yourself go or develop a bad personality. Most of us will still just be happy and grateful we found someone who liked us back. Bodily imperfections. If we are banging. I'm not thinking about the cellulite across your tummy or the stretch marks on your boobs. What am I thinking about? Then. Probably that those boobers look really soft and f amazing. And how cute your tummy is. I adore tummies and boobs. This is nice. I had a baby and my body is way different now and honestly. I really don't like it. Hopefully I'm the only one disappointed by my tummy and boobs. Post baby bellas are the best. They're so soft. I could never tell my wife that. But I tell her she has the cutest tummy. Which is true. And I love the post baby boobs too. Like. This is a body of accomplishment. It's created and supported life. What the hell has my body done? Gotten fatter for no purpose at all. Be proud of your tummy and the stripes on your skin. You weren't cursed with them. You earned them. And they're beautiful. This is so sweet you made me feel so much better about myself. 